Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. So I am once again and currently at the moment working on my Paper Pumpkin Alternatives for April 2024's kit called Delicate Wings. This is alternative video number 12. Welcome to my channel everybody. If you are new to my channel, a big hello to you. And just so you know, you will not see me make these projects as they were designed, as I like the creative journey and experience and challenge of doing something different with my paper pumpkin kit. It really is something I look forward to every month, and part of that is because I get to share it with you, so thank you very much. So you, as these cards were originally designed you got three of this card three of this one and three of this one on the back is a qr code that you could watch a video to follow along to assemble your kit there are lots of other videos like that on youtube as well this qr code here on the back would bring up how to purchase the add-on dies called um be thanks and beyond which i will be using thanks and the um, butterfly, the solid one, not the one that makes the little wings do this. So a visual of everything in the kit and then the coordinating colors this time were basic beige, basic, basic beige, basic gray, Lost Lagoon, Moody Mauve, and Champagne. So now that that's done, hmm, let me show you what we're going to do. So I have, it's interesting what I'm doing you guys I can't wait to share with you and this just kind of I went in took a little rest ate a little something because I am still recovering I'll be recovering for a while anyways card base is four and a quarter by 11 this is bumblebee this is retired yes but crush curry would work daffodil delight any you know bright yellow would work I have layer number one in this one you get to see what I've already done this had Where's those two butterflies? I like to get the die cutting out of the way. So this held these two butterflies. Now the die that comes with the thanks and beyond, the add-on, die cuts those two dies. So what I am after actually, remove this, is just this. This is going to go on, this was a pre-made card, pre, not pre-made, this I, card base I had in my folder just like this because what I'm after is that little gold border detail then I cut out it says die cut die cut both butterflies and then you need a piece of scenic DSP for this and you can see this is a part of the um, it went with the garden meadow suite that's online so you can see how beautifully that's gonna sit in there and we're gonna cut this together I'm not sure what the measurement is yet then I have a piece that's four by five and a quarter to go on the inside. Then I die cut one, stamped it in basic gray and die cut. This is one of the ones that I watercolored and die cut. And I'm changing the color. This was pink. I'm using sponge daubers to add some more color. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. And then I also die cut thanks in white, which is going to go on this card. It's going to be gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. At least in my opinion, I hope it is. So let's get started. I didn't even pull out an envelope for this. So I think we're going to go with white. I think we're going to use a white one this time. So I've already die cut those, but now I need to figure out where this is going to go into here and I want to border around the inside the outside and I need a pencil um, roughly right there and we'll see what actual measurement is oh if I can yeah I see it it's shiny shiny maybe there it is yes so what is it oh it is three and three eighths. Chomp. Now I still have this, but guess what guys? I think this, I'm going to fussy cut this. Oh, I can't put that down on the inside of the card because it's going the wrong way. Hmm. Maybe if I, yeah, I'm still going to cut it and I'm going to 
I am going to fussy cut this. I just am. I want to use it. So let's fussy cut it and we'll glue it in. So now I'm going to take the rest of this. This is going to go on the inside of our card. Hmm. Okay, we're going to have this piece here. And I'm going to come down like that. So that's going to go on one side of my card. Then I'm going to come in here. And the inks we're going to be playing with today is Azure Afternoon. Let's cut that off because that's in my way. Highland Heather and Daffodil Delight. Now these, I don't, look at that. Okay. So this, oh, that is a full, that is not the piece I wanted. <laughs> I'm like, why is that? Let's get a different piece. I'm making sure see like so now this is gonna go here and this is gonna go here Woo! look at that that's gonna be great so mm. well it already says thanks on the front so we're not gonna do anything to the inside I was trying to think of oh what can I put on the inside nope we're just gonna glue these down so we do have something on the inside, just we have room then, plenty of room to write. So I'm going to pick this up, hopefully, and I'm going to, don't ask why I flipped it over, I don't know, I just kind of did. I'm trying to get it to right to the corner. So there's one. Next one. I'm using the tabletop to line it all up there at the, oh, sneak on down there. Okay, so that's going on the inside of our card. Visually interesting. Did you guys hear the tiny little feet of my little DD, my little Chihuahua? Let me tell you, yesterday she gave us a scare and a half. Um, I was outside trying to accomplish something right in the garden not being able to bend over. I was near this ledge I had and I was planting some uh, flowers and stuff for bees and insects that I was growing in the greenhouse and I was roughly getting them in the ground. No, Tia, come here. Don't you turn and look at me. And I had her out front with me. And when I came into, I was calling her because she was with me. And then all of a sudden she wasn't. I couldn't find her. So I went and got my daughter and I said, honey, come, come call Tia with me because I can't find her. And it's really, you know, I, I need to find her. And it was unlike her. Well, my daughter comes out and she yellers for my dog. And my dog comes around by where I was. At the car on the side of the car at this uh rock wall there there's i've got a bit i can plant in there and i didn't have to bend or anything to do it and um lo and behold she has something in her mouth and guys it was rat poison she had in her mouth don't know where she found it don't know how she got it in there um got it out of a container of something pulled it out of those boxes but anyways we were all in a full-blown panic mode yes panic i can't believe only one dot of glue cut on the back of those butterflies that's interesting so had to call poison control and all this other stuff the only good thing was is we think she just put it in her mouth she's perfectly fine she didn't have to go to the er room though my daughter and i were almost there 
um, talked to Poison Control $100 later. They were like, well, this particular kind of, you know, poison, you know, the dog would have to have consumed like a third of it. I'm like, no, she just had it in her mouth. And oh, man, I flushed her mouth out. She was so mad at me. Look how pretty that is. Anyways, that was my experience with Miss Titi yesterday. Oh, so I make sure she stuck with me. See, our backyard is fenced in from them. They can't get into anything over there. So now I have these butterflies. And if you saw my other videos, you saw me. Um, I did some watercoloring with ink and a ink block. And then I stamped and I die cut these. But now what I want to do is I need to change their color to fit on the card. And I need to figure out if I want... Oh, even that just alone is gorgeous. Maybe I just do one. Maybe I do the big one. I don't know, but we're gonna color we're gonna color change them anyways. So I have some Azure Afternoon, which is a new pad, and I'm thinking this is a pretty good I want to tap it off. But I want to come in here. Oh, that's really let's do that. That's really blue. Okay, that is not good. I do have a backup. This one, let's wipe off some of that blue. And I just want to deepen the blue that's already there. That's a good match. That is a good match. So that's all. Let's see if we add some rub it in that area. Ooh. That is coming out really pretty. I'm going to go all the way to the edge. Okay, so I'm just changing the tone, color tone of these. And I want to add a little Highland Heather to the tips of this butterfly. I think it needs a little bit more. Ink it up a little bit more. I'm not going to stamp off because I'm going color on top of color. Just the tips. That is really pretty. Can you see it? It's just its tip. Those two will work. This one, what can I do with this one? We'll come in here and add some Highland Heather down there. And then I'll show you what I did with the Daffodil Delight on those. Daffodil Delight. Oh, yeah, we're not using this one here. I mean, I could put it, I guess, on the inside. Remember, you can add it on. You can't take it off. That blue is just too dark. But that's what I did. Now, I want to leave the thanks dark. You don't have to, but I mean white. I want to leave it bright, bright white. Um... So let's see my butterflies. Real simple, simple little card here. So I could do this one here. This one I know is not the right one. I could do that. I also have some white little butterflies. I'm almost, I really like the whites. Remember, I have all these little white butterflies. So, do I add like a bright whiteness in the center? And then I could even do a little white on the inside of that. I think we will, but I think I'm going to use that one. So, we're just going to get this, and I need. looking for this because it does help believe it or not it really does so I'm gonna glue maybe now my little dog is snorting in the background but it's a good thing I don't have any plans of going anywhere for a week because the Poison control was like, 
just supervise her for a week and see what she's doing. I'm like, okay. And they're like, gave me any signs to uh, go take her in. Oops. Let's try to get it straight, right? That is so not straight. It's like, dog, you're already going to cost me quite a bit of money here in May. <laughs> She has to have some teeth pulled. Okay, so this one now I don't need. There. Now this one, I am going to do this because I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glue there. Almost lost the butterfly. All right. I'm going to put that big one there. And this one, I kind of like, well, if I get it too close there, you'll think that's part of the T. So I think we'll put this one right there. Maybe not that one. Maybe just the large butterfly. Now I'm thinking, okay, I could put, I don't know what to do with that one now. Let's take the white off because now, yeah, that did not work. This works because I can put a little something of a body in between it, but we could do, we need just a little something. Oh, like down there. Yes, that's what it's going to be. So we have white butterflies and rainbow butterflies. And then I have the two butterflies I cut out of the back of this one to put on here. So I am going to add some dimension. So right here, let's see, do I want to see how that's up? I don't. I'm going to use this. I want this side of the butterfly up. So let me see. I'm going to glue this piece to this piece. Let me see if that's enough of a, oh, it is. That's perfect. Okay, so that's enough of a pop-up, and I'm going to make it even. That's for that wing. Now, I bet I could glue these two together for this side of the wing. So give me a second. There's one. And it's not quite as much as a dimensional, but it will give me... A little bit of a pop-up so one bit right there near the edge of the wing and then from here to there and then I'm gonna add glue to this section this bit and then over on here making sure it's done. I want to add the antennae. Yes. I wish they would have given us like a little stamp for antennae because it bugs me. I mean, it looks like a little mean kid pulled the antenna off of the butterfly. So this little one is going to get some too. There we go. And we're going to put something in there. And I am thinking... Miss Kathy Kelly sent me some of those jeweled ribbon bits, right, on here. What if we put one of these in the center? So let's see. This one has a bit of blue in it. Oh, 
Okay, we have to try that again. I wanted one. This was the one. Because I have to get on the floor and get that one now. Which I will. Just not this moment. Look at that. That's pretty. I don't have... That is pretty. Yes, it's going to cost me money. because, But I like that. I'm going to show you some stuff here. So, I like... Do you see that? That has... A gap here it's this wide right just enough to give it lift and this is a butterfly that's I've got two die cuts on here so it has that little bit but this with that little bit of blue and purple on there is perfect 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 I need a glue dot let's see in the basket to find the little baggy of stuff Need a glue dot. That is so, so, so pretty. And we're not going to do anything else says thanks we have our trees in there and let me put this back in the envelope and let's work on our envelope so we're going to do some more sponging that little baggy guys was from the kit so i have a white envelope and i'm looking for the stamp in pierce mat i need the butterfly stamp Oh, come to me. I need my little tray of active stamps. We just want the basic gray. And I really could use a... Oh, one of those things doesn't work. So, anyways. I was thinking I could use one of those butterfly stencils, but I don't think it'll work for this. Because what I want to do is stamp some butterflies and then sponge on them and i don't think i have a die cut so this one is gonna go right there and then on the back is gonna be this one all right so we're going to have to use Get Creative with a little post-it note. A couple of them. And we are going to start, let's see, do like right there. And I'm just using the sticky bits. I am going to go, might need more Highland Heather. I think maybe Highland Heather needs some inking. All right, we're going to go in the center here. This one moved, darn you. And Azure Afternoon. Yeah, that needs some. Oh, we'll just rub a little bit more. All right. So we're going to move all of our sticky bits here. Move it there. There. We're going to need to tear this. Get right in there. Because this is where we're going to put the daffodil delight. I'm going to huff on this. <sighs> Hopefully. Oh, that works. Now we got to add some more. So we got to take all our little pieces here. Is it worth doing this? I'm going to tell you, yes, it is. In my opinion, it's worth it. I mean, the person you're sending the card to, if you're making a handmade card, hopefully you really like them. And it is worth spending a little fussy time, which isn't hard. It's not hard anything I'm doing here. There. So look at our rainbow butterfly. That came out really nice. I'm not looking for perfection here. 
So next we're going to pop this here. We have this one to go in that section, this bit in this section, and where's this little bit? And this little bit needs now to be cut in half again. And right there. So now we are going to do just like the other one. All right, and some Azure Afternoon. <sighs> That's going to need some ink on it. I'm losing all my sticky bits here. So. Then Daffodil Delight. There. And now we get to move to this wing, I suppose. Azure Afternoon. I can add some down here too. Probably some even in there. All right. And then the daffodil <sighs> delight. All right, move it all around. This big one in between there. I'm gonna dip this back into This one's almost already covered, so we're just going to take it there and there. And there is our butterflies. Ah, look at that. And look at it's going to go beautiful coloring with our card. I think so anyways. I am gonna wait to know what you guys think. Yes. So, there we go. And you can add Wink Estella. Let's add Wink Estella to all the white. Just the white. Ooh. I love it. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope that you may consider um, if you're not subscribed to please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching what I do and see my creative journey every month with Paper Pumpkin. I so enjoy doing this and sharing it with you. Um, if you are subscribed, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And also for all of you who comment so often, you guys are the best. You guys warm my heart. You fill me with joy and inspiration to continue sharing with you what I love to create. So I sincerely thank you and I invite you all to come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now. I'm going to hold it up so you guys can see. Isn't that come out great? Bye y'all.